Hey guys, Ray from Lovey RV. So I just happened to be camped in a campsite that's uh, quite on level front to back, which means I've got quite a bit of jack deployed and my hitch is up quite high. So I figured this would be a good time to replace my uh, cord, tow cable cord here. See the old one, it's getting to be about 12 years old now. It's getting a little bit uh, worn on the end there. So I picked myself a brand new one here came with this uh, junction box um, so all I got to do is make sure I get all the colors right and connections right it's a seven pin here I've gone through and had a look and measured things so white will be my ground black will be my 12 volt charge line uh, yellow is the center pin here it's an auxiliary pin some rigs use it for a backup light uh, red will be my left stop and turn signal uh, green will be my tail and marker lights, brown will be my right stop and turn signal, and blue will be my brakes. So I just have to make sure it matches what uh, keystones installed here. Up in here is a junction box. They have there's a metal one right here. Just undo the screws here, we'll pull that off. And you can see a bundle of wires in there. But the actual inputs coming in look to be the same color coding. Kind of a standard uh, RV wiring color code, but it can vary from different trailers, so you can't be 100% sure. But what I'll do is measure it with my multimeter just to make sure it lines up before I start taking that all apart. Okay, so I've cut the old one out and left some of the colored wires on the trailer end there and I'll just uh, check for continuity I said my multimeter in continuity mode so we'll check this one here there we go green tail and markers so I've gone through all the different colors and all the different positions and they all match up to the new one so that should make it pretty easy for me I just got to go color to color so you can see I've left all the color ends here so I can match them up. I think I'll put some uh, ring connectors on each of these. This I'll probably leave these two uh, crimp connectors because it's all the grounds there and then just put a ring connector on the end of that. So for the connection I'm just using some ring connectors. I've got a Klein's tool crimper here. Makes it pretty easy. A good crimp on it. And attach it to the screws of the new uh, junction box. Okay, there we go. Screwed it up where the other junction box was. That's actually the floor under the bed in the storage compartment. There's some boarding. That's what it screws into. Added a bit of a strain relief over there. Just in case I uh, pull on the cable. And Kit came with rubber grommets and uh, end caps to plugs, which is nice. There we go. All installed. Okay, we'll plug her all in, give her a test. Looks like she's good. Lights seem to be working. Go into the truck and uh, check the brakes and signals. Next I'll do a check of the breakaway switch so if you you become disconnected from the, the trailer this thing's supposed to pull out there's a lanyard and then it'll slam on your brakes you can see you can measure the current here it's right around 12 amps it's about 3 amps per brake so that's working right I replaced it a couple of years ago so it's still in pretty good shape 
There we go. Well, that was a pretty easy job. I'm going to keep the old cord here since it actually is still functional. It's just getting a little ratty on the end. Use it as a backup in case the other one gets damaged. Um, you can see here there's some epoxy there. That was a repair I did to it a couple of years ago when the, the, the coating was starting to pull away and expose the wires. So I was able to push it back in and use some epoxy there and it worked out really well. Also this little thing here is a little gadget I've made up for uh, turning the marker lights on without the truck hooked up. Some people like to do that in a campground or whatever. So I'll just show you where, you, where I place that on the cord. It's on these top two pins. You can see the keyway here. So you've got your 12 volt uh, power that's coming off the RV battery right there. And then the other pin here is the marker light circuit or running light circuit. So this is just a fuse for protection. I have a five amp fuse in there and I can just plug that in. Some people will just wedge a fuse in there or they'll get another uh, like socket, the female socket and wire the same deal in. Just makes it easy. Then you can uh, have your marker lights on. See there at the top, top markers are on. So all the running lights are lit up. Just a little trick some people like to use to light up the campground around them. Anyway, hoping this video might help you out if you're having to change your 7-pin cord. Till next time, Ray from loveyourv.com. Cheers, everyone.